thank you Manu for the karakia and the welcome and thank you all for coming uh, this morning to uh, to see the commissioning of the Kaitana River Reverversion project to restore some of the Modi of Makatu Estuary. My name is Pim De Manchi, or Pim De Manchi Toko Ingawa. And um, this morning we have a few speakers uh, and, and we'll explain what happens as we go through the proceedings. Uh, and then we will open the gates and then um, after that there will be morning tea and an opportunity for you to see the site. But um, I'd like to introduce Liam Te Whero Whero Tapihana to welcome you with his mihi whakatau this morning. Kia ora. Aga whakahoho kai anoa ki a tōpia iho, ki te uku kāre a kaumata mō moe, ki te riu o te waka te aroa. Kau i au te pai pai roa roa mai fiti ka mau te pautae ki a te aputai a paua. Ka ngano o au ki te ire ani wani wa te rakoa ko te toko toko te ahuru, he kawenga mai te korei te pō, he whakaputanga te whae a te awamarama, whaka mau a ke a tina. Tina. Ko toro toro te wai, koro puku te wai, e toto te wai a para whenua, mea ki runga te mata whenua. Wai re re i kona, wai re re i kona. Ngunguru i te ata, ngunguru i te pō, maringi i wiwini, maringi i wawana, mā turu turu ngā roi mata a rangi re re i ho. Ki te kai tuna, a ki te moana nui a kiwa, ki a hine moana i ngunguru nei. Waka mau wa kia tina. Tina. Ko au tene, ko au tene, ko au tene. Ko te hokai tapu wai, ko te hokai nuku, ko te hokai nga tuko tūpuna nga tāne nui a rangi. Nā nga e piki atu te rangi tū hā hā ki te tehi o manono. Ko ia te atu o rokohanga atu. Nā nga e rīro mai, ngā kete o te wānanga. Te kete tū a uri, te kete tū a te a, te kete aro nui kā tiri tiri a kā pau pau a. Rapa te whatitiri. I koui ko te iu i rā rūa na te whenua, ka puta te ira tāngata ki te whae ao te awa mārama ti hei mauri ora. Āngoreira ngā moere hua i tua. A tēnā kotou i runga i tō tātau mau tere. Aha koa, ko te rā pai rau o te motu ki te rerenga o te rā. Aha koa ki te tōanga o te rā. O tahi tonu tā tātou karangatanga, hei iwi mau! Ngā roera, e te iwi. Ngā roera, te arawa, te enā koto katoa. Ana ke, i tā tātou, te manukiru, manukura, a te arawa. A te are ki moreu. Ngā roera, te rangatira tēnei te mihi atu ki a koe. E mihi tino nui, e mihi tino mai o ha tēnā ki tēnei ki a koe, tēnā koe, tēnā koe, nau mai, haere mai, whakatau mai. Ki ngā atātau, ki o tātou manu hiri, rongo nui, ngā kai mahi o te kauni hera, au nai rea tēnei te mihi atu ki a whatau, nau mai, haere mai, whakatau mai. A ki atātau katoa te arawa, ngā ngahaku o te arawa, Ana me i tauranga moana rā nei, e ngari hewa no ngā hapu o tātou mautore katoa. Tēnei te mihi atu ki a koutou, nau mai, haere mai, whakatau mai ki tēnei, tēnei whenua tipu, tēnei tipu whenua a mea a o tai paria. O tai paria tēnei te wahi e noho mana tātātou tūpuna ki te tunu kai mā rātou. Ia haere ana ki reira ki te kohi. Te kohi mā tai tai. Ana kei ka haku i wahui mai rātou ki kone ki tahu nā tā rātou taku wahi. Ana kei ka tahu nā tā rātou kai i kone. O tai paria. Eira, eira, kei kō. Ko te whā ika. Me awa nō. Ko te mea tua tahi, te mea tino nui ki a mātou, te mea tino whaka hira hira. Ko te hoki mai o te awa. I te tau. Ko tahi mano. I warau, i ma te kau mā ono, koena te tau, i kati ana, i au kati te awa ne. Ana kia ka tupunga te te awa, te rā taha kia puta ki te mua ana. Noa riri a ko riri ka te katoa o ngā tūpuna, ngā kui a karau. I pātai ana rātou, i tono ana rātou, ki te kāwana tanga kaua e pēna. Koi hota tātou au. 
，一卡，高雷拉都会，龙王都去嘞，去去，银行卡都会去嘞。啊，卡，银行卡拉都去破那个，去得土库那一拉都啊，汪啊汪啊，去得高我那等啊，啊，卡巴基基拉都，去得高我那等，一卡，高雷拉都会，银行卡银行卡都会，银行卡都会，银行卡都会去嘞。然后我那会买，可能嘛。Hoki hoki, ini orang tu, orang ni mari. Ko hoki mai dia, ko hoki mai dia. Ah, nolera, kita uri no tak kure awi naik ni, kita lewat tepo. Ya, fai tang kita kena kena rata tihunga, kore tay tay te te kore no, anak tio tio kita kita lewat mau. So. I just like to thank everyone for turning up here. I mean, it's a beautiful day, and it's beautiful to see all these people here for this very, very important occasion. Um, I don't know how many times I've said this, but uh, I owe a huge, we all owe a huge gratitude and thanks to Pim and his team. They worked very hard over the years to bring this together, this project, and now we are at the final stages of this project. Their job is virtually done, ours is just beginning. I'm just going to give you a little bit of history here about the original swamp that was here, the Kawa. Now, there's a belief that Kawa, loosely translated, means the wailing place of the orphans. So whenever you, ever you hear the wailing place of the orphans, then it associates with the Kawa. We believe the reason for that is all those battles, many children were left as orphans. Hence the name, the Wailing Place of the Orphans, Te Kawa. In 1903, there was a meeting held in Tauranga. And they, they had held a ballot there. 3,187 acres of pure, pristine wetlands was broken up into 13 blocks. Each block was about 200 and 230 acres, about 99 hectares. Now that's a lot of land in 1903 for a farmer. Darren deed it was swamp, but hey, who cares? We got a cheap swamp land, every place. So they thought. However, they got it for a really good price. They paid their deposit. So the 13 were successful. They got 13 blocks. I've got all the names of all those people that bought those blocks. I've got all their names. They got it so cheap, they paid their deposit, and then they just started paying four monthly, paying the government. Very, very low, low payments. Probably still paying the bloody thing today. <laughs> However, um, the first thing they did when they took ownership of their land, they drained it and dried it and turned it into what you see up there now. 3,000 acres, 3,187 acres of beautiful, pristine wetland gone, just like that, disappeared. All gone, marine life. But with the help of the council and what we're doing today in various areas, we're bringing back wetland. This one here was, uh, is now beautiful, beautiful to look at. What was once pasture there is now beautiful wetland, Te Paika. And we're working on another one a bit further up, 70 acres, Ngāti Whakaue, Tapuika, in partnership with the regional council. We're now developing all of that into wetland, and we call that uh, uh, Tumukawa. Now, so that's how that disappeared. Now, I'm just going to let, tell you about the association that Te Arawa has with the Kaituna. Our affinity with the Kaituna. With the Kaituna, In 1978, Ngāti Pikiyo, with the support of most, nearly all of uh, Ngahapu Te Arawa, they went to the, took their grievance to the, to the Waitangi Tribunal because of effluent that was going to be let into the Kaituna and the contamination of the Kaituna River. They won their case. 
Not to be here one day case. But what I want to, to explain to you here is the power that our people had in stating their grievances. The first was a very, no, very well-known weaver, who I think 90% of you will know, Emily Schuster. Her work was renowned throughout Aotearoa. Beautiful, exquisite weaving. She went to the tribunal, stood up, and she told them of how Rotorua was progressing so fast that the, pollute, the streams were becoming polluted. There was no fresh, clean running water for one particular product, and that was kia kia. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with kia kia, kia kia, it's a, it's a plant that grows in the, in the forest, in the bush, not the forest, in the bush, and it's like a parasite. It grows on other trees. And it looks like a flax, but it's not a flax. Now, when you walk into the whare nui, you look around and you'll see the paneling. And they call tuku tuku. And those tuku tuku paneling are made from kia kia. Now, in order to get the kia kia just right, they have to soak it in clean, fresh, running water. Well, all the streams are gone. But the kaituna was the last left. So, Emily Schuster, who, was, who took classes, had to take her ladies down to the kaituna, take their product down there, and soak it in the, in the kaituna to get that white, to, to, to bring out the whiteness of the kia kia. And she said that she would lay down her life to protect the kaituna. That is the emotion, the strength they felt for the hour. However, the most notable was in one particular instance, this elderly, elderly white-haired Maori gentleman stood up with his tokoto. He gave them his name, and he said, and he told them of the history of the, of the kaituna, and their affinity with the kaituna, up and down the kaituna, and past uh, history of the kaituna, that what I'm talking about there is battles between Ngahapu along the kaituna, and the, the aroha they feel for this river. Now, this old gentleman, he suddenly started to wave his tokotoko around, and he said, I myself will go and fetch my patu, and I will do whatever injury I have to do to prevent this from happening and let the government do what they will with me. But that is beside the point. That elderly gentleman was Tamati Kuni Kuni Roberts. Te tahi rangatira o tātou, te aroa, no te matai. Tamati wakahuia, or we call them Kuni Kuni Roberts. So that was that white-haired gentleman who said he will go and fetch his patu, hand it down to him through the generations. And he will look, the, he was left in charge of the kaituna, and he said the kaituna is like my people, I will protect it. When they put the tutanga, they put the ne. They put the tatu patu on the patu on the tatu patu. They put the patu on the tatu patu on the tatu so that, is, that, that just gives you an idea of the, the affection, the love that we have, the Arawa have with this, with this uh, kaituna. And I can remember many years of living on the Waikato, on the Waikato, on the kaituna when I was a little kid with my crow and queer. I was raised by my crow and queer. Ta and Taka Tepso, some of you may remember them. They had a little white base stand down here with a little fire on it, a little fireplace, and a bed. And uh, they white bait during the day, and at night they would fish, and they would get kahawai, uh, ara ara, um, trevally, tuna, and we go home with a kerosene tin can full of white bait and about half a dozen fish. Kuna kuna terahi unga unga ika yawara dawa yawa yawara ne. You go down there today and you stand there low tide, can you help? Where's the water? Nothing, just a whole lot of bloody sand. Sand everywhere. It's gone. But now we look forward to the future. When those gates open, I'm not care. I'm not care. 
So ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, what I have to say about the kaituna, just to give you a brief outline of how our affinity with the kaituna is. Kia whakanui, kia manawa, kia manawa nui. Te kaituna, a te awa ngā toro e rangi, e taonga. Let us celebrate the kaituna and the let us celebrate the Modi of the Kaituna and Te Awa Ngā Toro a treasure, a treasure for us all, left to us in Tukui Ho in Ota Ta Tukui. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, koina te pataku kōrero i nāia nei. Kia koutou. Nō reira tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou kia ora nā tātou. けれ受けてくらえたがおてゆわたまてかぷわかまうてあろいろいてちちろきたくべぬわふらきぽぽろふわめきまたおねおねかれやちゅわきてあわかりおまたろえらぎへかえちむへたえかりまおこわいてうか